Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video that's going to help you find the volume of a cylinder. Now, whenever I do any of these geometric problems, where I'm trying to find the volume of some shape, or the surface area, or the area, or the circumference or perimeter, I always need to follow four steps. And those four steps are to write the formula down, then to substitute in for the variables, after that I have to solve for the number, and then the last part is to write the appropriate label. And that's going to be the correct units, basically. Now, when you take the MCA test in the spring, what you're going to get is the formula sheet. And the formula sheet for volume is going to say base times height, or B times H. Now, in a cylinder, the area of a base is just a circle. So, the base is going to be the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, times the height. So the formula for volume is going to be volume is equal to pi r squared times h. Now let's see how we can use this to solve a problem for volume of a cylinder. So I've actually made a cylinder here. And there's my picture of my cylinder. And this cylinder has a radius of 3 meters and a height of 11 meters. Here's the steps that you have to do when you're solving this problem. The first step is I have to write the formula down. So the formula you should use for volume of a cylinder is volume is equal to pi r squared times height. So I'll write that down. Volume is equal to pi r squared times height. Okay? The second step says to substitute. Now when I substitute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the r and the h with what the r and h are in the problem. If you look at the cylinder, the radius of the base is going to be 3 meters, and the height of the cylinder is going to be 11 meters. So I'm going to replace R with 3 and H with 11. So let's see what I did there. There you go, I replaced the R with 3 and the H with 11. Now the next part, or the next step, is going to be to solve. Well, in order of operation, I have multiplication and exponents. I always do the exponents first. So I'm going to take 3 squared. Now 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. So my next line, I'm going to leave everything kind of like order of operation problems now. So it's going to be pi times 9 times 11. Okay, next I'll just multiply the two numbers. 9 times 11 is going to be 99. So one answer that I could have, and this is an exact answer, is volume is equal to 99 pi meters cubed. My units are going to be cubed, cubic units, because I want to know how many cubes fit inside a cylinder. That's what volume means, how many cubes of something fit inside of it. Now, I could multiply 99 times pi, or an approximation of pi, like 3.14, and gotten an approximate answer of 310.86 meters cubed. Both of these answers are correct. The 99 pi meters to the third power, or the 310.86 meters to the third power. And actually, even though it doesn't look as precise, the 99 pi is an exact answer, and the 310.86 is just a, an approximation. Hopefully that helped you solve this type of problem, and it will help you when you do volume of a cylinder problems.